a big challenge that the entire family weathered through during your time in the public eye was Josh's trial and his sentencing and everything. And, and in the book, you say that you haven't spoken to him in a few years and now he's currently serving a lengthy prison sentence. Um, do you hope to establish communication with him one day in the future or, or are you kind of like done with the relationship at this point? Yeah, it's hard to talk about. I think it's just been so difficult. Um, that's been, it's interesting. You deal with stuff in, um, the public eye and that's just another, um, thing that's been so tough to walk through. And I will say I'm grateful for the justice system and my heart just really breaks for the victims and their families. And, and I'm, I'm just grateful for the justice that is being served now. And so as far as my brother is concerned, um, I haven't spoken to him, like you said, and I think, um, I would say that no one is outside of the grace of God in, in being able to change, but until there there's major change, I I'd say that will probably still be my stance. Just, um, yeah, not, not like reaching out for any communication at this point. How do you hope he emerges from prison? What kind of change are you hoping to see in him? You know, ultimately, I think that um, we'll just watch throughout these years and see um, from a distance, I guess, just see uh, if there's any change. And I just would hope that this time is, um, I think it's it's good that that justice is being served. And so, um, yeah, I just pray that he would ultimately change in the long, in the long run, but, um, yeah, I'm grateful for this, this time. Do you still communicate with his wife and kids? You know, I am always here for, um, his wife and kids. If, um, they need anything at all, I hope that they would know that they can come to us and yeah, I know my heart just breaks for them as well. You mentioned in your book that both Bill and Josh need new hearts. What do you mean by that? Part of the thing, the whole story I was telling in this book has been one of like, you can't set up these outward things and think that this is going to keep you from anything. You can't set up all these man-made rules and say, this is what makes me a good person. It doesn't start from the outside. It starts from your heart. And so needing a new heart is done by it's it's through the gospel of Jesus Christ changing your heart and and giving you new desires but i think the sad part is that the teachings of bill gothard set up these easy like rules that you say oh if you do something outwardly you have this outward um rule set up that's a man made rule it's going to keep you from sin it's going to keep you from whatever harm it's not true. That will never change you. So I think if you go into life believing that, it's only going to, the real true you is going to come out. And I think that's sadly what has happened. Now in the book, you mentioned that you and your sisters are still very close. How would you describe the relationship with the girls today, especially with you being in LA now? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. My sisters, um, many of them have come out to visit and other sisters coming out next month, which I'm excited about because, um, we still are really close and I'm, I just love like seeing their lives, even though it's from a distance and our kids don't get to hang out together all that often, which is sad. But, um, my little one talks about her cousin and she's always like, Oh, I wish that they could come. Why don't they live near us? So they still know who each other are. Thankfully there's like FaceTime. So it's nice. It's really easy to keep in contact like that. 